Hi everybody, Patrick Nickel with Crash Games here, and we're going to take you through an entire three-player game of Council of Verona. To my left here, I have my nephew Spencer. Hello. And I have my wife Jessica to my right. Hello. And we hope you enjoy watching this game, and we're going to kind of talk ourselves through it. It's a three-player game, so we have three tokens, our zeros, our threes, and our fives. Each player is going to get dealt one card to start the game, and then we're going to draft the rest. So take a peek at what you got, everybody. Okay, and then I'm going to look through all of these and see what I'd like to take, and I'm going to go with that card there. And pass these off to Spencer. Chester cards. <laughs> if you've ever been to Board Game Geek Con or any convention, you have the person that keeps yelling at you to keep your cards closer to your chest. So it's a funny inside joke with the designer of Council of Verona and his wife uh, that we have. We play games at their house quite a bit. So we always yell, just your cards. <laughs> the noise in the background is my ice maker, <laughs> in case you're wondering. Because <laughs> whenever you do to, to film and you try to take all the precautions for no noises, there inevitably will be noises. But that's fine. We're just drafting. Just picking some stuff there. One of the things you want to consider when you're drafting is if you have a good memory, you can kind of see what's not around on the second go, and it never hurts to... Remind yourself what's in your hand. And okay. Keep on going yeah. here. Uh, okay. I see what's happening here. Yeah, you think yeah. you see what's happening. Ah, uh, yeah. I will control <laughs> the Council of Verona. Well, it's because it, by, by, with three players, you can kind of tell who's selecting what. You get to see a lot more you of the cards. See... In, a, in a four player game, um, each player gets three cards, mm -hmm. so you're going to know a little bit less um, in a four-player game, but that makes it all the more interesting. With limited influence tokens, even if you know what your opponents have, there's still a good amount of, of bluffing and deduction to take place. In, yeah. The cards okay. change position all the time, so it's like... And then what's going to happen here, too, Jessica is going to have the last choice between the, the last two cards, so... Jessica is going to put one card out of the game and keep the other, and then we're going to start uh, with the first player, which is me. So I'll be the only one that knows? You'll be the only one only. knows that what comes out of the game. I mean, we ideally, we know what you, you have, so here's my, my starting hand. You can tell by my starting hand I definitely have a, a strategy in mind. So for my first play, I am going to play... Mercutio to exile. So this is an agenda card. I'm choosing to put it in exile. The council will run this way. And I am choosing to not place an influence token Look at on you. Mercutio. <laughs> I don't want to tip my hand. What am I doing? <laughs> Mercutio's agenda is if there are more exiled than on the council. He's sort of a, an anarchist, I guess, of sorts. Well, he just wants, like, control, like, of the neutral -ness. <laughs> that is my chihuahua having a seizure in the background. Because <laughs> once again, we are filming. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, are let's see okay? here. You're okay. He's good. I think I'm going to use the nurse, which is an ability card. It moves one character from the exile to council. So I'm going to oh, move Mercutio. So Mercutio has made it onto the council. Okay, and then Spencer has a choice right now, too, to play an influence token. Which I am, which Anyways, I'm not. would be kind of be a bad choice. <laughs> Definitely be a bad choice. chilling on the council now. Um, so, Jess is true. Okay, and that that's optional as well, guys. Spencer could have chosen to not take that action, but... Uh, I, I think that was, I think that was a good choice. choice. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just because of what we drafted, I know someone out there... Has a Juliet. Oh, so Jess. Okay. Jess is calling calling some some cards out, saying that Juliet's out there. So she's gonna put Romeo onto the council. Romeo's <laughs> agenda is if they're if Romeo and Juliet are together, whether it be on the council or in exile. So bold, bold proclamation. So currently, as it sits on the council, we have a a, a spread variety. We have a Montague, uh, two neutrals. And a Capulet. So if somebody has Prince Escalaeus in their hand, the neutrals are actually doing pretty pretty well. And, um, and she could have chosen to put it like on 
on the other ones as well. She yeah, have you to don't put have it. to place on this top spot. That's a good point, Spencer. And sometimes it can be a great bluff to put it to sometimes on a negative like, one you, or negative two. Like, what are you, what are you, what are you doing? Yeah. What's going on? <laughs> okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to place Benvolio on the council, and he's an ability card. He's going to allow me to move one character to exile. Mm. And so Mercutio is going to take, <laughs> going to take his journey back into exile. Comes in, and goes then right I out. am going to, uh, I'm going to place a token here. And uh, what are we going to do? I like Jess's confidence, <laughs> so I'm going to kind of follow her a little bit on Romeo. And we'll see what happens there. All right, let's see what's happening here. Um, all right. I think I am going to put Tybalt, another ability card, on the council. Mm -hmm. Move one character from the council to exile, which I'm not going to do. Oh, okay. So that's that's totally totally an option. You don't have to move that and card. It's important that everybody knows that at the end of the game, once all the cards have been played, if you have an influence token left, in normal turn order, starting with the first player, you can place that one last token. There may not be a spot left for you, or the spot may not be desirable. However, if you still have one left, you're not forced to place it, so you don't have to put yourself in a bad spot. And so, and so now I'm going to put a jump token on Romeo, okay. and now that's full. Okay, so Romeo is maxed out. So I'm my powers of deduction lead me to believe that maybe Jess is going to be on to Juliet. Um. So looking at what just happened, I noticed Patrick moved a neutral player to exile and placed another Capulet into the council, which no, makes didn't. me want I to... Put a Montague in. Oh, you put Spencer a Montague. Put it, yeah. But go well, ahead, Spencer put one of them put oh. a Capulet. So I'm thinking okay. maybe I can put more Capulets yeah. on the council. So Lord Capulet's uh, agenda is if the Capulets control the majority of the council at the end. So right now, you would count nurses both a neutral and a Capulet. So the, the power right now is three Capulets three to Capulet. two Montagues. Mm -hmm. So very, very interesting things are happening. Um, okay, I've got some pretty strategic decisions left with, with the cards that I have. And I am going to place Lady Capulet onto the council. And uh, her um, ability is it lets me swap uh, two influence tokens. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna do just that, and I am going to swap. I think we'll play a little a little chaos here. I'm gonna go ahead and and jump on the Capulet ship. It's important to know that when you're swapping, you must retain the positions from where they came from. You're not able to put it on a different influence spot. And so now I have the ability to place my normal token, uh, which I'm going to choose to do. And let's put some eggs in a basket here. <laughs> All in one basket. All right. Let's, let's make this happen, Captain. All right. Um, Taking a bit of a gamble there, but maybe yeah, I think are. I think you are, because <laughs> I'm going to introduce another Capulet. Okay. No, that works. Juliet. Oh, okay. And putting that puppy right there. So right. Juliet and Romeo are together at they the moment. They are currently together, but there are still four cards to be played. Will their love remain on the council? Or will we find them in exile? Oh, it really doesn't matter. Cause like both sand <laughs> through the hourglass. <laughs> it doesn't really matter because either way they'll they'll score if they're in... Well, no, I'm saying not the... if we separate them, though. Well, no, not if you separate them, but... All right, I'm going to play Count Paris. That lets me view two... So you're playing Count Paris to the... Uh, exile. You're casting him into exile. Exactly. Which allows me to look at two people's influence, or right. two influence tokens. Yep. Um, and this is knowledge just for Jess. Count Paris is a neutral, so you can look at two of those discs. Okay, so I'm going to look at Juliet, because I want to know how much Spencer's betting on that. And I'm also going to look at Lord Capulet. 
see where Patrick's head is. Hmm. Intriguing. You don't mind sharing that knowledge with me, do you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I might give my hand a little bit away, but I think I'm going to put this Oh. Here. Oh, nice. Well, it's the end of the game. It's, it's hard to bluff right up to the end. So, okay. Well, I am going to... Hmm. I would really just... That would sink my ship, so... I really don't have much of a choice but to put Lord Montague onto the onto the uh, into exile rather, and my last influence token. I'm actually going to hang on to this for a minute and see see how things shake out. So you're up, Spencer. Um, I don't remember my stuff, so I'm gonna. Yeah, and you can do that in Council of Verona. There's no memory element, so if you've forgotten... I can tell you what that is. <laughs> yeah, please do share. <laughs> so if you've forgotten the value, you're more than welcome to, um, to look at your tokens at any time. All right, let's 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 do this. Um, all right. I am going to place the very last card of my hand, Lady Capulet. Oh, even oh. further strong uh, strengthening yeah. the, the Capulet's control of the council. And this allows Spencer to swap two influence tokens, which I think he's probably I'm pretty, going to do. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm going to do that. I'm going to take mine. Oh. Yeah, that, that's happening. Rough stuff. That's, that just happened. Oof. I just switched my lowest from Romeo to the highest of Lord well, Capulet. spot that's minus two, not necessarily your lowest token, but... Oh, well, no, like the lowest of yeah. the... Of the... And I'm not going to place you gonna, any nope, tokens. Nope, you're going to hold on to your last token? Yeah. Okay, Jess, last card of the game. Okay, I kept this card till the very end because I was invested in Romeo and Juliet, and it allowed <laughs> me to take one character from Exile and put it onto the Council. But since it's the oh. last card, I'm just going to put it there to solidify the control that the Capulets have on the council. Nice. So I expect some scoring. Okay. <laughs> so now it's uh, our time if you want to place any tokens. Sometimes there are some open spots uh, left that may earn you some points, depending upon how things shake out. I'm choosing not to, not to place my last token. Uh, Spencer? Are you going to place your last? No, because, no, I don't have a, a spot where and I can. And Jess, you're completely out, so. So, you guys not placing telling me that you have your zero. Yeah, left. I have my, my <laughs> zero left, so. Well, either we, way, there we is We obviously not a lot know of... that Romeo and Juliet both score. Um, it's easy to look. There's only influence tokens on these three cards, so. Um, Lord Montague didn't score because the Capulets control the council. Mercutio didn't score because um, there, there are more people on the council in exile, and um, I believe that's it. So Romeo and Juliet did score. So red gets a three there. Green gets a three and a zero. So for green, that three and that zero negative one would actually be a net two points. So she does suffer uh, the modifier, and then my three there is gonna, oh, minus two. So that comes down to a, a one. Red here, oh, red, power play, five, and then a five. So the total score here um, for green is four off of that and two off of that. So six for green, and then red, three, ooh, I believe we have a winner. That's six, nine. nine. That's nine. And that's nine, and then blue, <laughs> I got six. So five and then the one from here so good job red player spencer won the council Yay. of verona and so that is a, a three-player game the council of verona uh we thank you so much for taking the time to watch it we hope that we can earn your support uh here on kickstarter and thanks so much again for your time have a great day bye guys bye